Yeah, stay that way. I mean, you know. Yeah, now I turned it on. Yeah, so I'll, my subscribers told me to film sideways, hold my phone sideways. So this is the first time I learned how to do that. Yay, I remember. Oh, hon, here, come here, I wanna. <laughs> So this guy's the window installers. Yeah, they did a good job. Oh yeah, they did a great job. OG Glass. OG Glass. There's a commercial for you. A shout out. So they came back today and cleaned all the windows. Did a really nice job. They're you can't even. It looks like there's no glass. <laughs> See? Yeah, probably. Oh, Saturday can talk now. <laughs> no, gib my honeybee knows gibberish. <laughs> oh, hon, so I, I wanted to, to repeat this story. Now, to, today, yeah, about the... Today, we just got done basically building the whole place, and we only have tile and paint. You know, to put. So anyway, today we just get done building the house, basically, and then clean the windows. And what does this guy tell me happened in 2000? Oh, 2000. So no, no earthquake we have 2008. Yeah, we just got done, and he sits down to have a snack. Yeah. 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 So I didn't know this until today when we just finished building the house. And there was an earthquake in 2016 and a couple from California built a house yeah. on this island. Uh -huh. On this island. It collapsed. Yeah, concrete house with small rebar though. They had small rebar. Yes. I used oversized because I like to overkill everything. In case there was an earthquake, I repeated that a hundred times when we were building. Yes. So yeah, we get done today and I find out about an earthquake. And so the house collapsed and they didn't even get to sleep in it one night. They were still in California. Is that a shame or what? <laughs> so, yeah, if you're building, you have to use a good... Right. And what did, what did I say is going to happen if this falls down in an earthquake? Yeah, but what did I say I'm going to do? I'm going to buy a sailboat. <laughs> yeah, if I can afford it. We have, I don't even know if they sell earthquake insurance. We have car insurance. Maybe they sell earthquake insurance. Yeah? yeah. yeah. Might be a good idea to look into. It's probably expensive. Oh, ask him. Tell him no smoking inside. This can go outside and smoke. Go us, What's that mean? <laughs> hey, you want to ask him if he turned off our electric that day? Because after they left, these lights didn't work. Oh, <laughs> Oh my gosh. So anyway, after they left. Okay, so let me tell the subscribers in English. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me tell the subscribers in English. After they left, half the house, the lights, these lights didn't work. The bedroom lights didn't work, outside didn't work. And so I said, well, it's got to be a loose wire, you know, inside one of these connections. 
which was really disturbing because if it wasn't, all this wiring is buried in concrete. And the next day, bye, thank you. Okay, be careful. Bye. <laughs> the next day, Eric, our employee came by and right away he saw the problem. And my dad probably sees the problem right now. It, so what I did, I flipped all these back and forth to see if there was a re reset one of these, you know? And what happened, somebody flipped all of these this way, only on this side. And see the lights went out. Well, when I looked at it, I, in America, this way is on. I know it is. And so I thought they were all turned on. Somebody, I don't know who it is, turned all my breakers off on this side and completely freaked me out. I thought we had a broken wire inside the concrete ceiling or the floor or, oh my God. Anyway, that's the story of the earthquake and why I might buy a sailboat, but I hope I don't. See ya.